guys, it's Jimmy from Crafts Names and Things. So today I have another quick crafty idea for you today. So today I'm going to show you how to make plastic beads or beads from plastic bags. Um, so these are fused and you just roll them up like you would a paper bead and they're really cool, very durable, um, very, very easy to make. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So all you need is a plastic bag. This is a colored one, but you can use whatever kind of plastic you want. Here's a clear piece. Um, you can get a bunch of different colors. Um, I have like a blue one from a store. So um, just kind of whatever plastic you have around. You also may want to use some tissue paper and I'll show you how we'll use that with the clear one in a little while. And then you're going to need scissors, you're going to need an iron, and make sure that you have your arm warmed up to like medium. And then you're going to need um, just toothpicks, um, chopsticks, whatever you're going to use to roll your bead. And I'm using Eileen's tacky glue. So, and you also need parchment paper. Sorry, that's really important. So all you're going to do is just cut out a piece of your plastic um, in whichever dimensions that you want. And I'm just going to open my parchment paper here. And then all you do is set your plastic in there. Make sure you have your iron warmed up. And you're just going to fold it in half, just like that. Okay. And you just take your iron and you're going to fuse the plastics together. Okay, so just go nice and slow. Make sure that you don't get any, you know, any of that plastic on your iron. That's a pain in the butt to clean up. So just be very careful. Okay. And it doesn't take very long. Like this is already fused, but I like to do the back also. Okay. And I'll show you what we have. So, um, and it's okay if it's not perfect right now. I'll clean it up, but just so you can see. So you just take the parchment. And what you have is you have a fused piece of plastic that you can use to make your beads, okay? And it's okay if it has writing on it. I find that that adds to the beads. Now, let's say you have a clear piece of plastic, but you don't want a clear bead. You actually want some color in there. So a cool thing that you can do is you're going to take your plastic, you cut out a little piece of um, tissue paper, and you just put that in the center. And then you're just going to fold it up, and then we're just going to repeat just like we did before. And you can also do that with the colored ones too, and that's that's fine also. Okay, and you're just gonna take it and you just iron it. I would be a little bit more gentle with the tissue paper because you probably don't want it to fold in like mine just did. Didn't do that before when I did it, but so just be gentle. Okay. And then for this one, you definitely want to iron the back also. Okay. Alrighty, so that's how this one looks. So it just has a really cool effect, and it's all fused together, okay? So in essence, you're creating like a piece of paper, like you would use for a paper bead. Okay, so if you want to use these, um, you'll just trim off the edges, or you can keep them on, whichever you prefer. But we just want to really work with the part that's fused, okay? So then you'll just cut it into whatever shape you want. I'm going to make these like tube tube style um, because that's the style that I like best. But um, I like tubular beads. So you just take it and you just go the length of your paper. It's probably about three inches long if you want to know the dimensions. And you just make strips. Now if you want to make um, the other kind of bead, then you're just going to cut a triangle. Okay, so I'll just take this and I'll turn it at a 40 degree angle and I'll just make a triangle okay and then as you can see that's really huge so I can just cut it right down the middle and that will give me two triangle like shapes okay that I can use for my bean making also okay and then you can do the same thing with the tissue paper it cuts just the same if you have a little tissue paper sticking out, that's okay. And then you can just take it and just do it too. Okay, so let me show you really quick how to roll these. So all you're going to do is take your piece of plastic, okay, and then you'll take your skewer, whatever you're going to use, and um, make sure that you have your tacky glue. I'm just going to put a little bit down here, just right on my mat. And I do have a paintbrush. I think that it's a little bit easier to put it on there. Okay. 
Okay, so all you're going to do is take this and you'll go to the very edge. There's lots of great videos on how you can make different shapes um, and you can definitely do that with these beads too. So you're just going to take it like so and you're going to roll it. So, which can be a little tricky so just be patient with yourself. Okay, and you're just going to roll it and then once you have it rolled so that it's kind of situated just take your paintbrush and just um, roll it with some glue just like that but make sure you roll it up a little bit before so it doesn't stick to your skewer I've done that before not so cute and you're just going to take it create some tension and just use that um, skewer and just roll it down just like that Alrighty. Good. And if you have some excess, just wipe that away with your finger. Okay. Very good. And then if you want to do the tubular ones that we cut, um, maybe I'll get one that I did before, you're going to do the exact same thing. So you'll just take it just like that. And I mean, you could probably use a bead roller with this. I don't see why not, like if you wanted to. And let's say that I know that this isn't tight enough. I can just take this and pull it so that it's really tight, okay? And then I can just rub my glue on there. Make sure that I get the tip very, very well. Um, sometimes it does come apart a little bit. So all you're going to do is you just take it apart. See how that's apart? And you can just brush that in with it too just because it didn't get fused very well, okay? And you just take that, but no worries, okay? And then I can just pull it a little bit more and I can continue to roll it up, okay? Just like that, okay? And then um, if the ends are a little uneven, I don't worry about that because I can just take a pair of scissors and cut them, but that's what they look like. So that's a tubular one, and this is more of a diagonal one. Um, and then this is the tissue paper one that I made. So these are quite beautiful, actually. Let me see if I can pull one out. And I could throw it on a chopstick. So those look really cool. Very good. And then um, what you'll do is you'll let it dry a little bit, and then you'll just take clear polish or varnish, and you'll just um, you'll just put that on on your bead. Which I don't know what I just did with my nail polish. But yeah, so I just took wet and wild nail polish and I'm just going to brush them down. And that's what I did with these. I did a couple coats. But as you can see, they look super cool. And that's just a great way for you to make your own beautiful, colorful um, beads out of something that you would throw away. So um, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'm going to have more ideas for plastic bag beads. So um, make sure that you stay tuned. And please like and subscribe and please share too. If you have a friend that you think would love to see this, um, send it to them. Thank you so much and have a nice day.